What's up guys? Got a cool little video for you today. I'm currently streaming using KitKat Touch. I'll leave a link in the description for KitKat Touch. I recently added the Luma support to it. I'm not using Luma at the moment, or Rosalina I should say. I'm using Input Proc and Boot NTR, but that's just how I do. So I'm currently controlling this with my Xbox gamepad, and I think that's awesome. But that's not what this is about. Uh, this is going to be part one of Hiding from Nintendo. So basically, I have a new little feature to show you that has been implemented into Luma 8.0. If you've followed the 3DS guide lately and gotten custom firmware, then you already know about this. But this is basically a way to run homebrew underneath the guise of normal Nintendo apps, such as 3DS Sound or the camera or download play you know anything like that so let me show you how this works it's really cool and i've even heard that implementation for this to run cias might be coming in the future so we could run cias under normal nintendo apps that'd be pretty cool so what you want to do is load up an app such as nintendo 3ds sound this is going to be a little bit of a shout out to the dead sound hacks r.i.p so now that you've loaded your app, go ahead and press the Rosalina button configuration, which is going to be select down an L, and that'll load up your Rosalina menu. Now go down to miscellaneous options, and then at the very top you'll see one called switch the HB title to the current app. Now if you hit this, it'll inject the homebrew launcher into your current app that you're playing. So it's been successful. I'm going to press B three times to exit Rosalina. And then what you want to do is go ahead and exit out of Nintendo 3DS Sound. And now whenever you launch Nintendo 3DS Sound, it should boot into the homebrew launcher until you change it. Launch Nintendo 3DS Sound again. Ha ha ha. And now watch this. If we press the home button, it says we're in Nintendo 3DS Sound. So that's pretty awesome. I'll show you how to reverse this real quick. So exit out of homebrew. Go ahead and press the Rosalina menu again. Go back to miscellaneous options. And at the top, it'll say switch homebrew title back to the homebrew launcher loader. So this will move it back to the CIA. And now Nintendo 3DS Sound should be Nintendo 3DS Sound again. Ta-da! Alright guys, hope you enjoy. I'll have a part two coming soon for this, and I'm gonna have a ton of other videos coming. Do not worry, I'm working on them. A bunch of Wii U stuff and some exciting 3DS stuff. Peace!